Hi, I'm Chuck Vosberg from LightingIsEasy.com, and welcome to Photoshop Fridays. Today, I'm going to show you how to add a realistic-looking mat and frame to your artwork. So let's get started. I have a photograph here that I'd like to add a mat and frame to. So the first step is to go to the Image menu at the top of the screen and go down to Canvas Size. We can see this is set to print at approximately 12 by 18, and I'd like to add three inches of mat around this and then another inch for my frame. So that's going to be a total of four inches around, so I'll add eight to my 18. So that'd be 26. And then another eight to this, so that'll come out to 20. And for extension color, I'm going to leave that at white and click OK. And you can see it's added a little bit extra around this image to the specifications that I typed in. Now, over here in the Layers panel, I'm going to add a new blank layer by clicking on the New Layer button in the bottom. And I'll double click on this and name this Matte, because that's what is going to go on this layer. And what I'd like to do here is make the mat, so I'm going to make a rectangular selection that's just a little bit inside the image area here, then inverse the selection. So I'll go to the Select menu, choose Inverse, and then I'm going to fill this with the color that I'd like to use for my mat. And in this case, I'm just going to use plain white. So white is my foreground color down here already, or you could just go to Edit and choose Fill, use white, and fill it. Now we're not really seeing anything here because that background extension was white also, but I want you to notice if I turn off the background layer that I do indeed have a mat here. Alright, so that's looking pretty good so far. I'll turn my background layer back on and then go to the Select menu and choose Deselect. I'd like to put a nice little bevel on this so it looks realistic. Well, that's down in the bottom of the Layers panel, the FX button, and that'll be Bevel and Emboss. And you can see the default already starts to look pretty good, but we're going to go with an inner bevel. We'll go chisel hard, because that's the way they usually look in real life. Direction's good. The size is adjustable, but in this case, the default looks really good. And as far as the highlights and shadows, you can certainly adjust those if you like. But I think this actually looks pretty realistic. I think I'll make the size just a little bit smaller. And if you want to, you could even add a little bit of a drop shadow on this. Now I want to caution you, you've got to go easy on this. But I'm going to click drop shadow right here. And you can see you've got a little tiny drop shadow in there. In fact, that default setting actually looks pretty good, so I'm just going to leave it at that. You want to go easy on these things. So I'll click OK. Well, now I've got a nice realistic looking mat. The next step will be to add the frame. And for this example, I'm just going to put a nice black gallery frame on this, the way I usually do when I deliver things. So I'm going to add yet another layer. So down in the bottom of the Layers panel, click the New Layer button, and I'll double-click on its name and call this one Frame. It's a good idea to name your layers as you go. Now for this one, I'm going to use my rulers here to get my frame exact. And in order to see these on my screen, I'm going to need to change my screen mode to Standard. There we go. And you can see the zero point is set to start in the upper left-hand corner of the image. So I'll get my, se my selection tool, get this lined up according to the ruler, and go ahead and click and drag this. And once again, using my ruler as a guide, there's the selection that I'll use for my frame. Now, of course, you can always adjust this later, so if you're a little bit off, it's no big deal. But we want to be accurate if we can. Now, just like we did for the mat, I'm going to go to the Select menu at the top of the screen and 
inverse this so that I can fill this with black. So I'll go back to the edit menu once again and choose fill and in this case for contents I'm going to fill this with black. Click OK and there it goes. Got my black frame on there. Now I can go to the select menu and choose deselect. Now it's already looking pretty good but we want it to look three-dimensional so once again down here in the bottom of the layers panel I'm going to click on the effects button and I'll start off by adding a bevel and emboss. In this case I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Just experiment with these settings to make it look good. I think the highlights are a little weak so I'm just going to turn those up a little bit. Right down here it's it really pays off to experiment a little bit with this. Alright so far so good. Now I'll add a small drop shadow to it by clicking on the drop shadow button and in this case we can add a little bit more distance than what we did previously. Let's see here. Alright, looking pretty good. Maybe we'll go down to size to make it a little more blurry. There we go. Looking really nice. So I'll click OK on that. So now we have a piece that has a very realistic looking mat and frame. This is a great way to show your stuff on a website and I hope you have a great time doing it. Thanks for watching.